Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my virgin kitchen. Today? I don't know what we're making today. Today we are making lemon poppy seed meringue muffins and they're going to be amazing. Um, apologies, it's been about a week since my last video. I've been ill. I've been given like proper horse tablets from the doctor and when I take them they freak me out. They're huge and I go like, ugh. So I'm feeling better now. Thanks for asking. And uh, Phoebe is here for moral support. Me five. These are going to be amazing. They're going to blow your mind and we're just going to get on and make it straight away. Although a couple of things have happened since a uh, week. Um, I got engaged to Mrs. Barry. I'm going to be, I'm going to get married. You're, you're going to go to a wedding. Your daddy's going to get married. Yeah, is that exciting? Yeah. You're going to marry mummy. I am. Is that exciting? Yeah. Are you going to wear a dress? Yeah. Shall I wear a dress? No, you're not going. Ah. The other thing is, uh, it's my birthday, which is kind of exciting. And last but not least, Phoebe got a tattoo. You want to see it? Show people your tattoo, mate. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's a little update. Let's get on and make these muffins. They're gonna be awesome. Give me some skin. Woo! Right here, my friends. This recipe will make six muffins. So Phoebe has lined this tin with six muffin cases. Why did you go for more red than blue? I'm a boy, I like blue. That's naughty. Right, okay, so grab yourself a mixing bowl, like this for your wet ingredients, first of all. And what we'll do is we'll start to pour in the wet ingredients. Now this, is some lemon juice, that is 40 mils of lemon juice to pour that in my friend. Yeah, be careful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I want you to dip your finger in there, because it's all for her development, and have a little taste of that. See what you think. <laughs> Whoops, a bit sharp, is it? A bit, what? A bit sharp, a bit sharp, a bit sharp. You Chinese? Okay, lemon juice is in there. Now, we grab milk. This is, um, we haven't got a cow, have we? No. No. Sorry about that, mate. You okay? Mm. And that goes. So we've got some lemon juice and milk combo going on right there. Here is 30 grams of butter that we just melted in the microwave. Do you want to mm. pour that in? Ready? Pour now. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Looks like a little egg. Looks like an egg yolk, doesn't it? Is that a fried egg? Want to eat it? Mm. No, 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 no. There you go. Can you see that? And now, we have to get in an egg. Now Phoebe's quite good at cracking eggs, she hasn't done it for a while, mate. so... Crack the egg on that glass, my friend, and then the egg goes in there, no shell. Keep going. That's it. Now, crack the egg in there. Keep going. It takes time. That's it. Yes. Right, now the shell goes in there. So you've got a pretty crazy looking mixture right there and it needs to be stirred together. So Phoebe, there's your wooden spoon. Ugh! Did you just, <laughs> is that all right? Don't do that. <laughs> right, stir that together please mate and I will uh, go and sterilize her mouth. Right ho, so Phoebe has finished stirring. Have you finished stirring? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. How happy are you about you finished the stirring bit? Really, really, really happy. Ha like ecstatic, like Christmas day happy? Okay, cool. So we'll put that to one side and we're going to move on to the dry ingredients now. So another mixing bowl. And what we do is grab some sugar. Just pour that in there, mate. This is where it gets a little bit messy. Very lemony. So we're going to let Phoebe get fully involved in that. In goes the sugar. As you can see, it's a teeny bit lumpy, but it's all good because we're going to break it down with our fingers. Can you do that? Bad idea. Okay, so about two teaspoons of lemon zest that I, I did earlier. I don't want that. Phoebe have uh, a greater just yet, otherwise she'd probably take her fingers off. Put that all in there, get it all in there, swipe it all in mate, nice and fast. Right, I'll get the rest in a minute. Get your fingers in that bowl and mix together that sugar and lemon zest. Mix it all together. So what we do is breaking down the sugar and like infusing, wow, infusing, cool word, uh, the lemon zest with the sugar all together like that. So, uh, you enjoying that? Yeah. Smell your fingers. What do you smell like? My fingers. You want me to smell them? <laughs> it smells like lemon and sugar. Unbelievable. So, uh, yeah, keep going with that. It smells like lemon juice to hot corn, sweet to hot corn. What? That doesn't make sense. 
Right, that is a face that says she's ready. The thumbs up is an indication for sign language that she's good and ready to go. So what we're gonna do is grab ourselves a sieve. Cha-ching, sit it over the bowl like that for the minute. And this is some self-raising flour, okay? You wanna pour that in? Let's pour it on top of the sieve first of all. Okay, now you can sieve, mate. If you hold the bowl, lift that sieve up and tap it. Tap it, that's it, a bit more height. Oh yeah, so sieve in your flour. Right here then my friends, now the flour has been sieved in there, we need to move on to one last step before we mix it all together. But we have got another special guest with us. Phoebe, would you like to introduce her? Chloe. <gasps> Hello. Hello little Chloe. Hi. Hi Poo. She has a little spatula. She does. Are you going to teach her how to cook on here? That's the aim, when she's a little bit older. Phoebe will be doing these videos with me and teaching Chloe how to start, you know, the route that Phoebe took with me, you know. How you doing Chloe, you okay? Yeah. Say so, yeah. Right, so the next step is poppy seeds. Do you want to pour them in? Yeah. Where do you think poppy seeds come from? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know either, but I think they're uh, seeds from poppies, but I'm not sure. There we go, so that's in there. We need to give it a good stir around. She was going to use the spatula, but Chloe has got hold of that and she's not going to let go of it, are you? You want to let go of it? She's wondering what's going on. So, so stir that round, mate, nice and gently. So mixing in that flour, the sugar, the lemon, and the poppy seeds. You didn't say milk. There's no milk in there. Right here, my friends, so with the poppy seed mixture all stirred through like this, look, it's a nice black and white combination there. Get your wetty mixture, and that goes in together. Are you ready, Phoebe? Do you want to pour it in? Pour it in, my friend. The mixing bowl's got a spout, which helps. We'll get that to one side. In it goes, and she didn't use the spout. How cool is that? So now, we just mix this mixture together, our dry and wet mixture in there. you want to give that a go, mate? Do it gently. Make sure it's all combined, and that's our batter done. And I've just knocked the trays. Sorry about that. Righty-ho, so we mix that mixture all together and it's like this. There we go, all stacked up like that. And Phoebe is now spooning it into the muffin cases and Chloe's still hanging about. All right, mate? Are you okay? I want some bitten. What are we doing, cooking? She's normally really loud, so I don't know what's going on right now. So yeah, spoon it in there evenly. That's enough in that one, mate. Put some more in that one. And then it should sort of be even. You know what, one massive muffin and one teeny one? That'd be crazy. Right home, my friends, the kids are going to go chill out and in there on the middle shelf are the muffins in the cases, like so. Around about 20 minutes on the temperatures as you'll see down below and uh, yeah, we'll see them around about 20, 25 minutes. And then we let them cool down. Wow, I shut that door hard. Oof. Right here, my friends, that has been half an hour. I've cooked the muffins all through, like so. They're all firm through. I stuck a toothpick through it, it came out clean and it smells so lemony in here so they're just cooling down to one side. The minute I put them in the oven I grabbed three eggs, cracked them and I've just separated the egg whites and the yolks. Okay, so the yolks are just chucked away and the egg whites are in this bowl here and they've actually let sit for room temperature which helps when you whip it up to make them meringue. So I'm going to do that and add in 100 grams of caster sugar gradually. Okay, so here we go. Righty-ho, that's been a good five minutes. And as you can see, it's stuck on there, making little peaks. So what I'm gonna do is pour in my sugar gradually. Do it in about three or four batches. Don't pour it all in in one go, otherwise it'll flatten it right down, okay? So that would be enough. I'll whisk it through again. Okay, folks, so after mixing in all your sugar, you should be left with a big, funky, thick bowl and very shiny of uh, meringue. And you can see, like, it's got the peaks there all sticking up. That's what we're after. Okay folks, it's time to put these together. They've cooled down sufficiently now. So what I'm going to do first of all is actually take them out of their wrappers. So uh, let's do that. Okay, doke, those wrappers are off there now. What I'm going to do is get a very sharp knife and actually cut in to the muffins about halfway down just to separate them. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay then folks, so I've sliced off my tops. Make sure you have a sharp knife, it does help. And cha-ching, here we go. Just to show you, there's one there. And boof comes the top like that. So what I'm going to do now, I've got some lemon curd, I'm going to spread that on the bottom bits like that, and then we stack it back up. Whoa! Uh, yeah, so here's my bases, and I'm just going to put the lemon curd on it. Yeah. There we go then, that's looking good. Around about a teaspoon and a half of lemon curd on each one of those, and then just grab your lid, sit it back down. Oh my goodness. Okay, just to show you, we've got that funky lemon filling on there, and that on its own, my friends, will be a pretty decent muffin on its own, my friends. Uh, so yeah, what we're going to do now is grab our meringue mixture, cha-ching, like so, and get it on there. Now, I haven't got a piping bag, but if you want to do something fancy like that, you know, get all the funky swirl thing, that would be cool. But I'm just going to use a spoon. Yeah. 
Okay my friends, there's a life cycle to doing these muffin things and uh, there's four steps basically. Um, and you need one of these flame things for the last bit, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, so basically, first step is a normal muffin. Second step, grab a teaspoon and a half, maybe two teaspoons, a big dot, boom, of a meringue on top. Flatten it down with a spoon and spike it up. It's really easy, you just hack into it and just lift it like that. And then you just brown it. And there we go, that is what one looks like. So I'm gonna do the rest of them and then we'll, we'll eat them up. So I just thought I'd quickly show you me flaming one of them. So here we go. Keep a nice distance from it and it just browns. Here we go, see that? It just goes like that. So uh, be careful as you work your way around it if you're doing it this method. There we go then guys, they're all nice and done lined up there. Well, there's five there and one is missing. I'll give you one guess who's eating it. Cha-ching! Do you like it? Yeah. What does it taste like? Lemonade. Lemonade, awesome. They are really, really good. I had a little bit as well, it went a little smidgen. How much do you like it? Loads, lots, teeny bit? A hundred. A hundred. So, Phoebe likes it a hundred. If she can make it, and I do the adult bits obviously, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. Let us know how you get on, and we'll see you again next time. Bye.